A very good day to you, ladies and gentlemen. It's a beautiful day for the Florida safety decision-making methodology. And they're lining up now. It all starts with the pre-commencement activities. What the protective investigator needs to make initial contact. And then the protective investigator is off to initial contact where they're assessing for present danger. Is it immediate significance and clearly observable? If present danger exists, the protective investigator must have a present danger plan to control the threat. This needs to be in place prior to leaving the home. The protective investigator now moves into information collection around the six domains. Extent of maltreatment, circumstances surrounding the maltreatment, child functioning, adult functioning, general parenting practices and disciplinary practices. The key is to gather sufficient information to complete the family functioning assessment and determine if there's impending danger, whether a child is safe or unsafe. To make that determination, the protective investigator needs to assess if the family conditions have crossed the safety threshold. Is it out of control, imminent, observable, likely to result in severe harm to a vulnerable child? The protective investigator is also looking at parents' protective capacities. Are they enhanced or diminished? If the child is unsafe, the protective investigator needs to develop a safety plan to substitute for the diminished protective capacities and control the threat. This is non-negotiable. To determine if an in-home safety plan is sufficient, the protective investigator needs to apply the safety analysis criteria. Are the parents willing and cooperative? Is the home environment calm and consistent? Are safety services available? Will the in-home plan be sufficient? to manage danger without professional evaluations. Do the parents have a residence? The safety plan has to be managed by the protective investigator and later the case manager because unsafe children are referred for ongoing case management. The case managers need to follow the intervention standards, preparation, introduction, exploration and case planning. During this process, the case managers are fully assessing the parents' protective capacities, their stage of change and the child's needs. A case plan is developed with the parents based upon what protective capacities need to be enhanced in order to protect the children. Case plans are written behaviourally. What needs to change with smart outcomes. Now the case managers will be managing the safety plan to control the threat and the case plan to enhance the protective capacities. The case managers will continually assess the sufficiency of the safety plan and success of the case plan. Is the child currently protected and are things working towards the desired change so the child will be safe for the parents? As the case moves forward, a progress evaluation will need to be completed at minimum of every three months at the point where the necessary protective capacity have been enhanced to the point where the parents are able to protect the child. The child will be considered safe and your case will be closed. All the winners are the children and the families of Florida.